Hey everyone, and welcome back to the stream. So, I, uh... I kinda hinted at the fact that we might be doing another stream on Wednesday, and here it is! Uh, we made some pretty good progress in Castlevania Symphony of the Night yesterday, and we finished Ape Escape, so let's uh, continue on with Castlevania. I have no idea how big this game is, or how far we actually are, but... Let's uh, just keep going. So, we found uh, some kind of merman idol, I think, that summons the boatsman. Which sounds like it would be the key to progressing further. Because we've basically used... Uh, we've basically used the, uh, the blue gem thing that opens the sealed doors wherever we could, so... <laughs> the game has only just started and already I'm falling silent listening to the music. It's just so good. Yeah, we've found many ways to upgrade uh, Alucard here. But we have not yet found a way to increase our mobility. You know, like a floating move or a double jump. So, that's what I'm really hoping for. I also don't really know where we can summon the boatsman now that we have a uh, now that we have an idol to summon him. I also don't remember anything essential that was in the shop left to buy. Just equipment. Uh, there was uh, the cloak of Joseph, I think, which is thirty thousand bucks. So that's probably not going to be a thing yet. Right, I could go back through uh, to the underwater area through here, but I think that I think I had to go through here at this point. Yeah, give me a few moments to uh, get a grip on exactly where I need to go. Um, hopefully, it won't turn into a situation like in the second stream where I <laughs> ran around the first area for an hour because I hadn't properly looked. Where I could and could not go. And I'm also definitely not stalling because I'm listening to the amazing music. <laughs> Ooh, I like- I didn't even notice that. I like the way the blood drips off of their swords. Nice detail. It also preserved all the ammo we have for our sub-weapon, which is good. Hmm. I'm not sure if this is the direction I should be going in, but let's... Nope. I don't want holy water. Wait, Cthulhu? That's not Cthulhu. Oh, that's not how you spell it anyway. That's strange. Is there some mythological creature with a name very close to Cthulhu that I don't know about? Um, it was popular in a lot of Japanese uh, RPGs for a while to give enemies names based on uh, creatures described in the Bible. Like... The um, behemoth is a creature described in the Bible. I recall people having discussions as to what that animal actually is, but I think modern translations say it's hippopotamus or something? Well, I don't know. The mammoth was named after it. So some people thought it was the mammoth, apparently. And the Leviathan in from the same book, the Book of Job, I think. Similarly, people like to because it's described as a sea monster. People like to call sea monsters Leviathan as well. Ooh. 
You know what I should have done? I sh in the first area, I should have stepped into the orange portal. But, oh well. We'll consider this just logical explanation. Oh! Uh, exploration, not explanation. Yeah, I think there are even creatures in Final Fantasy and such with names like Bahamut, which is clearly a based on the Bahamut. <laughs> Gotta love stained glass windows, especially with green baby angels on them. Uh, that's one thing I don't recall from the Bible, is the green baby aliens. Maybe they read a different translation than I did. Alright, we're just going through the path where I first found that area in the upper right. Well, this is a bit of a roundabout way to get there, but bear with me. It's been a while since we've explored this area anyway, so it was... It's good anyway to check if we've missed anything. Ninety is definitely the max, though. Okay. That's a pretty generous limit, I guess. Oh yeah. <laughs> this little path upwards, I missed that for so long. Must have been a pretty awful experience for people uh, who know the game well to see, see me stumble there. This is one of those rooms where I feel like, well, I, I need, I need to stop wasting sub weapon ammo. That's one. Wait a minute, what? Did you see that? I'm not crazy, right? That angel just came out there, uh, came out of that side, didn't it? Wait. Let's, let's... Hmm. I feel like I saw that angel come out that side there. But now I can't, I can't get up here, so... Hmm. Okay. I don't properly understand the way this room works. Why does the button... Why, why can I push it? Why could I push it just now, but not now? Hmm. That's something I'll have to figure out. Also questions like, why is this clock gold when no, none of the other ones are? Yeah, there are so many secrets left to discover, I'm sure. Luigi table. 
A Luigi board? A Luigi board? <laughs> I am streaming, right? <laughs> I'm almost so nervous about accidentally uh, only recording and not streaming. Anyway, that was a very roundabout way to get where I wanted to go, but here we are. Oh yeah, so last time I was contemplating about the, uh, the boatman and what I should do to summon him. Because I found an item that summons the boatman, supposedly. But I don't know where to use it. A body of water would be the first place to I I would think of, but where where is one? <laughs> so I'm going to head back down there and see if I missed anything essential, because there were places submerged in water that I couldn't go. I figure maybe I'll find what I need there. At least there's no falling damage. Right, so would the boatsman be here, perhaps? Because there is an area down there that I cannot reach at least now, for now. I'm almost thinking about just jumping into the water in some places here to see if that works. So I already know the boatsman is gonna be uh, all the way over here, but. See, there is another path down there as well. So we just have to systematically, uh, piece by piece, go past the different areas we haven't visited yet. That's what I think would work the best anyway. Right, yeah, so last time I ended up on the left side. Secret boots. Um... Disc discreetly increases height. Um, okay. Discreetly increases height. If you say so. Right, so we haven't visited this place before. Well... It's just a max life increase, but I can't say I'm disappointed. That's a good, good thing to find. Yeah, the problem is getting back up from there. But hey, the important thing here is that we found the secret boots, am I right? Gonna look so stylish. We're gonna walk up to walk up to Dracula and he's gonna be like Alucard. You look taller. And I'll be like, wink, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. 
Well, that was worth exploring, but doesn't progress the story or really increase our options in any significant way. There is a path up there, but I feel like we're going to drop down from there at one point rather than ever going up through there. Just based on how uh, these games are usually structured. Uh, it's probably kind of pointless to go in this direction, but I'll have a quick look anyway. Can't hurt. Hey, at least I found a cool thing. An upgrade for my health. And secret boots. And let's be honest here, once you've found the secret boots, you've already made it. You've already reached the peak. It'll be nice when we can kill the uh, bloody zombies in a single hit. Remember when that guy was dangerous, though? Those were the days. Right. There really was no point in going here. I just had to check, you know? You never know. go back to the area with the water and just brave the uh, the submerged area and just jump in there with the health we have and see what happens. Uh, it's gonna be a bit of a, uh, a detour, but what can I say? We need to check. It won't do to assume that's not it, only to find out after Lots of exploration that it is, you know. It would be nice if we got an upgrade that made the uh, the protective Bible last a bit longer, though. This time we're gonna be smart about it, though. Yeah, sure, let's save first. We are... Uh, we have taken a few hits. Due to my very clumsy behavior. 129 HP. This is an interesting thing. Uh, the health is definitely scaling more like you'd expect in an RPG. Um... A game like Super Metroid is just straight up gives you an extra E-Tank with 100 additional health. But of course, the enemies do do a lot more damage there. Still interesting to think about. Good. Was it always misty here? I feel like the smoke is new. 
Am I fooling myself here, or is this changed? He gets me every time. DK. Donkey Kong. Maybe it was always the case. I'll have to. Uh, maybe I'm just focusing on it too much. Anyway, let's head back to that watery area once more. And if that doesn't work out in our favor, we're gonna just look at every area we haven't explored yet, piece by piece. That is one of the uh, funner parts of a Metroidvania, but I can imagine it's a bit harder to watch me stumble around not knowing where to go. Please bear with me, alright? We made a lot of progress last time, so it was inevitably gonna slow down at one point. Hey, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can just turn the speed to uh, two times. Axe Lord Shield. Ooh, I like that. I didn't know you could actually get this uh, shield. There must be ra many rare drops in this game that I don't know about either. Uh, I mentioned this just now, how, about how the, ex the scaling of your uh, health is more akin to, uh, to an RPG than it is to what Metroidvanias are these days. Um, you see that in the loot drops and the EXP as well. This is definitely... it's interesting to see how in the early days the Metroidvania was very much related to the RPG genre, and it has diverged a bit further from that at this point. That is not to say it doesn't still share many qualities about, you know, increasing the strength of your character, exploring, gaining loot and all that, but... This is definitely more literally taking things from the genre rather than... There's the thrusting... Uh, I keep calling them devils again because they, they their head shape is kind of like that, but they do have angel wings. I think th that might be one of my favorite enemies just because of how ridiculously it explodes. Di Diplofa Diplosophilus? I have consciously not pronounced it before because I know I couldn't handle it. I still had to try anyway. Alright, here we are. Alright, this just had loot. Maybe approaching from the other side isn't as much of a uh, time waster as I thought. Seems like it takes a lot of time either way. Which means it's gonna feel really bad if this is a waste of time. So let's just hope that it's not. Yeah, so the plan is to save and then to brave the water by jumping in and getting through it as quickly as possible. It's always interesting when games ask you to uh, do something that will unavoidably cost you health. It's like, is this intentional or am I exploiting it, you know? But in Metroidvanias, the line between 
doing it as intended and exploiting it isn't that clear, you know? <laughs> Metroidvanias are all about sequence breaking. Finding ways to get around the supposed requirements. It's part of the fun. Right, we're here. <laughs> that was a lot of effort to kill one toad. <laughs> Alright, so... This is the place I'm talking about. Okay, this is not turning out the way I had hoped. Well, a minor setback, but not the end of things. Maybe I'm fixating too hard on the, uh, the water thing. Maybe I should be focusing on other places we haven't visited yet. Do that. There's still plenty to look at in this castle. I want that. Okay, I guess I don't want it anymore. <laughs> nah, but it doesn't look like we can grab it at this point, so, you know. That area up there, the huge area, that's uh, that's the main thing here. I'll do. I'll walk over all the way to the left side and uh, go to that area with the enchanted swords again. Grab whatever was there. I think it was a shield. And then I'll use the library card to walk back to the library and check out that upper right area again. It seems like a decent way to go about it. Clock changed. I'm not sure what it means when the clock changes, but when I see a ticking clock like that, it gives me an ominous feeling. Like a lot depends on my speed. Perhaps if I had reached this room earlier, would it have been open? Is that the amount of time I spent? Three hours and something? Yeah. <laughs> 
Alright, let's just get through here with some level of speed. And not fall on top of skeletons, if possible. Sounds like a very archaic way to describe a waiter, to be honest. Doesn't sound very intimidating. I remember that these guys gave me some serious trouble. Just ghosts. That's interesting. I was wondering what they were, but the name doesn't tell us much, does it? Ah, uh, it's not Cthulhu again. this area a few times before where we uh, climbed the uh, stairs in the cathedral we found the sword monster the uh, animated sword puppet sword I think it was called we defeated it I grabbed the shield I died I didn't do it again I don't think it's essential to uh, to our progress but it would still be nice to have it done you know Nice if we could get to the upper right of this room, wouldn't it? I'm not quite sold on the benefits of uh, the wolf yet, to be honest. Seems kind of pointless. Perhaps it has a special utility use that we'll find out later. Well, only time will tell. This area must be important though, because when we entered here, we got a cutscene with uh, Maria. We haven't actually been able to do very much in this area, so we should give it a closer look at the very least. 
still have a library card, so we should be able to get back there pretty easily. I wonder if there are other cards for other areas as well. We already got the treasure from there, because I did grab that on the way back. Kinda hard to reach those, uh, those jars, they're just out of our reach. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I can destroy the, uh, the jars, but I can't reach the treasures. How oh, very troublesome. This is a beautiful illustration. Kinda hard to get up there. By kinda hard, I mean impossible. All right, this is... No, it's definitely under relics, but, uh... Summons the Oarsman. Merman statue. Like I said, maybe I'm just too fixated on it, but... Ah, right, that's the Spectral Sword, it's helpers of the puppets. That makes sense. It explains a lot. Oh. My. Are you seeing this? Are you seeing this obvious... Stairway that I didn't see? Well, I'm a dunce, but hey, we found a new pl- We found a new place. Disregard that last scene. This is the first time I'm going up here. Goggles. Those must look good on uh, on our little buddy Alogard here. All right. So this would decrease defense. <laughs> Comfortable eye protection. This would uh, decrease defense by one, but increase intelligence by three. Hmm. I mean, it by the numbers, it's a higher increase, but. Losing one defense kind of sucks, so I'm gonna keep it in mind for now, without actually using it. Oh, is that it then? Okay, I feel less bad about missing the stairway now. I mean, it was a mistake, but... Not really one that cost me all that much in the end. I guess I just got distracted by the sword. Oh, but there's a stairway here as well, so I'm still an idiot. Oh man, I'm such a fool. So we have the night shield, except we already have one of those uh, shields we. The enemy dropped, so... Nope, this one is worse. Well, it's good to know, at least. Alright, let's check up here. Finally, real progress. 
Yes, yes, all new areas to explore. We won't be needing that library card after all, guys. I was thinking this area was way too small. Like, I got the blue gem, it wouldn't make sense to have it stop there. But hey, my bumbling led me to the underwater area and finding the... Boatsman person, so... Oarsman, sorry. Scalarang, wow. Bangarang. Imagine being a reanimated skeleton and having your specialty be using boomerangs. Ooh, look at the cool kind of perspective slash depth right here, and that's that's neato. Um, yes, okay, but This is a secret, but perhaps I'm meant to approach this from the other side. That's what it looks like anyway. But, like with other areas, we'll put a pin in that and try to remember it as best we can. Ooh, look at the sky! Wing card, that's a new one. Let's hope we won't have to eat crow by the end of this out. Or maybe the crow will eat us. That's a bit annoying, isn't it? <laughs> the knockback. Fortunately, there's no falling damage or else it would be annoying. Hunting girl. That was kind of sad. She's like a ghost, I guess. Alright. So, based on how this looks, I either need an air dash, but I'm actually too big for that, so... Since we're Alucard, I'm guessing what will happen is we'll turn into a bat. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Level up. Finding a health upgrade uh, heals you, but getting a level up doesn't. Interesting. Right, in small hallways. Okay, these enemies are definitely more up to our level, so we need to be more careful. Oh, actually. Hmm. I feel dumb for going back when I see a room we haven't explored down there. And... Just based on my read of the design here, that ought to be a save room, probably. So I'm just gonna have a brief check. Mm. We need to go quite a ways down, though. Well, it is what it is. Well... It's 
not a save room, but what is it? Why is the music is so ominous? I don't get it, but it seems like it'll have a point at one point. <laughs> well, I hate to do this, but I think I'm gonna head back and save just to be safe. Or should I just keep moving and brave the dangers? Because I can see... Yeah, let's just brave the dangers. We aren't afraid of anything. I'm gonna skill my way through here. Like I said, I'm gonna skill my way through here. You could say I'm a serial skiller. With a PhD in skill. There is more to explore up here, though. Oh, right, we have a Castlevania pot roast. I remember that. We should use that if we get in real trouble. These guys aren't that dangerous after all. Yeah, I thought there would be secrets up here. Nice. Oh, that does heal me. Uh, right, of course it does. <laughs> I was just saying, finding upgrades does, and leveling up doesn't. But then I just... Got surprised anyway. <laughs> Silver plate. Well, let's put that on. Ah, very good. Oh, that extra defense. I thought I was gonna make it through the hallway without taking a hit this time, but the bat had to take it away from me. Anyway, the reason I thought it was okay to continue anyway is because there's a room up ahead that looks like it could be a, uh, a safe room. And I really like that the, uh, the bells move and sound when you hit, uh, stand on them and such. Nice touch! I wonder what's up here. Ah! Something to sell to our treacherous uh, library buddy. Exactly what he'll say when we show him that. He'll say something like, Thank you! Somehow that fire didn't hit me, but I'm not complaining. It's actually much better to have an enemy just hit you than to get hit by the attack. The attack works like X.
Huh. Impressive. You're very strong. What is it you want? <laughs> you didn't come here to tell me that. You're right. Do you know the name Richter Belmont? Richter? Of the Belmont clan? Of course, but... He disappeared about a year ago, and I'm sure he's here. If you see him, please let me know. As you wish, my lady. Oh, Thank hey, you. suddenly polite. So, you do know how to be a gentleman. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm surprised too, Maria. We're on the same wavelength here. I don't even know what Alucard is thinking. He's one of those uh, dot 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 <laughs> Japanese archetype character things. Very stoic. Hey, I guess people just like the brooding types, huh? I understand. The more people say, the more stupid things they can say, after all. <laughs> yeah, I hadn't expected a boss or mini boss, but I was looking for this particular little room because I figured it would be a save room, and I was correct. So I had read the design properly. Okay. I mean, it was a small room at a certain distance from the other save point. It just seemed to make sense. Hmm, we've been wasting a lot of that uh, sub women and sub sub women <laughs> sub women. <laughs> What's up, women? No, it's uh, I've been wasting a lot of these sub weapon uh, ammo. <laughs> That's what happens when you try to combine weapon with ammo. You get whammo. Let's check what's up here first. It's paid off in all the other clock towers, so, or bell towers. A potion, very good. A weapon, I wonder if it's better than what we already have. I doubt it since we paid a lot for this one, but... I'm pretty sure we already have a cutlass, but I'm gonna check anyway. Sword of the English Navy, interesting. But nope, it's weaker than what we have now. So the saber is gonna stay with us. Ha, ah, finally. I've been waiting to get into this major area for a while now, so I'm happy we're here. Listen to this music. This all feels like it's building up to something big. So, Maria is looking for uh, uh, Richter Belmont. That's interesting. I like how we're getting more and more details. Like I've seen a lot of material of this game, but I've never. I don't know anything about the story or anything, so it's cool. Castle Keep, okay. It's very tense music. Ah, those uh, little flourishes of notes really remind me of the classic Castlevania music. Ha, ah, where does this lead? One assumes it's a uh, shortcut of some kind. Sorry for spamming this, I'm just checking. Oh, so it warps us, it just warps us to all the orange points, points we found. That's very good, actually. Going here to hear the great music again. <laughs> no, I actually want to save here just to be safe. I'm pretty sure I saved just now, but you know how it is. I'm paranoid to just save all the time, just in case.
Okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> Man, I am so having so much fun with this game. The slow build up of the story is pretty interesting. So Maria's looking for uh, for uh, Richter, and I've been thinking that where is uh, where is he? Right? Is he has he gone rogue? Is he evil now? I wonder if we're going to have to fight him at some point. It'll be interesting since we started as him. Oh, I got out at the wrong stop. <laughs> that ever happened to you? You take the train and... Hey! Alucard, please. That's one uh, thing I like in many modern metroidvanias. You can just pick the location from a map or a list. But hey. Nothing to be sour about. We're here already. In the castle keep. <laughs> a flea man on a on a bird. <laughs> Yeah, I love the tension of this area. The music... Man. This game just keeps surprising me with another great track. With a completely different atmosphere from before. This almost feels like final area music. Leapstone. Double jump! Yes! This is what I've been waiting for, guys. Finally, that increased mobility I was hoping for. Leap zone. So we have a double jump now. Excellent, excellent. No, the world truly is our oyster. Probably not high enough to get to places like that. <laughs> hey, it was worth a shot. What's that? Tear thing. Cursed Dark Sword. Doesn't do anything. Hmm. Well, it might be useful to have some story thing. Yeah, it looks like we have nothing to, uh, to, to, to do here. So we probably need to approach this from the other side, if I had to guess. Oh, that's fine. Now, there are so many places I need to check out now that I have a double jump. Let's uh, let's start uh, crossing a few off the list, based on my very limited short-term memory. There's one right here for sure. Two, actually, if I remember correctly. The first one is when you drop down there, yeah, that. I'm so happy I have a double jump. Go, another health upgrade. Excellent, excellent. I wonder if you can beat the game without this gem. It seems improbable, but not impossible. 
Well, I mean, no, actually, that upper area. Um, my next uh, plot-wise, my next destination should be the top right, because we couldn't cross that area. So that's, uh, and I'm pretty sure that's the only place we have left to go. So. Anyway, like I said, there's two of such areas here. Haha! Excellent! Heart max up! Well, I'm uh, very pleased. I wonder if we can actually go up into that area to the left, or if it's too high up. Let's check. Look at those plebs down there. They don't even have a double jump. They'll never understand the true joy of looking down upon them. Hmm. It might be just a bit too high up. I probably could have guessed that just from uh, the positioning, but... Oh well, it was worth a try. At least we got two very good upgrades out of it. Let's return to the teleport and go to the top right to see where we'll be led next. We're on a story progress roll now, we're only one hour in. One thing with Metroidvanias is that, is that they, and I'm kind of worried about this, but they tend to be pretty short. Because they're all about replayability, about finding the best routes. About finding all the secrets, you know? So I'm worried that our journey may already be close to an end. And I really hope not. I really hope not. Because, like, that big area, we already have the double jump now, and that big area felt so climactic. And it's at the top of the castle, too. It's like, we aren't fighting Dracula yet, are we? There's still so much we need to find out about uh, about what happened to Richter and such. <laughs> Maybe I should just call him Richter and be done with it, you know. I'm, I'm trying to do a faithful German pronunciation, but I'm uh, not much of a German speaker. I could call him, I could be like Dutch, like call him Richter all the time. <laughs> that might be funny, but it might also be annoying. Anyway, we know what our next logical destination is, and it's right here. Let's grab a save, and let's move on. We got the Shield Lord Shield. I wonder if you can get the Sword Lord Sword. Well, it kind of breaks when he dies, so maybe not. <laughs> That's where we need to go, but let's save first. Map checking intensifies. <laughs> I really check the map a lot when I play uh, Metroidvanias. As you know, my short-term memory can fail me on occasion, so... This is actually a separate area from the one to the left, huh? All oh, right, all the skulls. All 
Oh man, listen to this music. Many good items too. Ah, there are items up there we could grab with increased mobility as well. I still think we're gonna be able to turn into a bat at some point. It just seems to make sense. Um, and though I haven't played much of it, I'm pretty sure that's Alucard's power in Castlevania 3, isn't it? Or am I completely making that up? Do this again without falling this time, please. Whoa, just barely made it. Listen to this part of the song. So good. Right, so that's gonna be a thing here. Getting turned into stone a lot. I feel like it would be kind of pointless to jump off of here without any uh, new mobility options. It would just be a leap of faith at that point. Is that a harpy with a sword? Yes, it is a heart. Makes sense. I'm not sure if there's any added benefit to me doing that. I think I just <laughs> gave up my Bible item, which is bad. Ah well. It's about time I switch it up, I guess. This room is full of uh, uh, sub items, sub weapons. I also like that the map doesn't reveal everything. It's a good help to show you which areas are left to discover, but it won't uh, just straight up reveal everything there is to reveal. It's turned into stone and dropped into the water. What a terrible thing.
Clock towers like this, uh, with these complex uh, inner workings, seem to be a Castlevania thing as well. I ain't complaining, it's very cool. Very cool kind of location. This is my favorite part of the song, when it cools down a bit. I think it just gives more power to how intense the rest of the song is. You know what they say? The silence between the notes and all that. Ooh. <laughs> he, he thought he had me there. He's not actually dead yet. <laughs> I like that whoa he makes when he falls down. It's less a whoa I'm dead and more a Whoa, calm down buddy. <laughs> like when you see your friend have another drink after you know he's already had enough. That kind of whoa. <laughs> of course I am completely talking nonsense here. Because I don't usually go out drinking, but that's what I imagine I'd say in that situation. Whoa! <laughs> okay. Wait, is this designed especially to be just just high enough to not be reachable with the double jump. That's a bit of a bother. Despite of my goofy reactions, I do really love this game. There's just a few little moments and performances that have made me laugh. That's all part of the charm, right? What is a man? A miserable little pile of secrets! Ah, I see you. Healing mail. Okay then. Restores HP while walking at the cost of some defense. Yes, please. Well, show, show me that healing. Well, that's not the fastest healing I've ever seen. Still not up to 62, come on. Well, it did say walking, so maybe I need to move more. Is that a stick of dynamite? T TNT! Well, close up, right? Are we gonna blow up Dracula's castle? Waka knife. It's not because I like you or anything, Buaka. Oh, it's very powerful, but it's a throwing knife. So, it's not something we can use permanently. Still, it will be good to have in a uh, particularly scary situation. I like how he's pointing at that, like, hey, there's a shuriken in the wall there. Now that I have the shuriken, he will be forever pointing at a broken wall. Uh. 
So I've run into a boss and I was initially really worried, but he seems to be getting staggered every time I hit him. So I'm kind of just wrecking his face right now. Well, nice. Perhaps I'm a bit overpowered or overleveled at this rate, at this point. I don't know. But that was fun. <laughs> Just spammed into that. Oh my, oh, this is really cool, but it also feels like it's the end. Like I said, is this, this isn't the end of the game yet, is it? Save point two. Hmm. Don't feel right, but... It don't feel right, my dudes. I don't talk like that, I'm sorry. <laughs> Falkion. Falkion? Falkion. Norman. Norman Curved Sword. Hey, as long as it has the same range, it's just a flat upgrade, so I'm happy enough. Oh, are you seeing this? This is absolutely the way to Dracula. Look at the perspective on that clock tower. That's amazing. Except we don't have the... Uh... We don't have a way to get up there yet. Nope, we do not. Maybe with a triple jump, but not now. So this is probably, this, this is where uh, Richter went up, so this is probably where it ends. This is probably where it ends, yeah. But we don't have the ability to end it yet, not without additional pylons, no, not with additional uh, mobility. Still. Ah, nice, a quick way, uh, a quick way down to the teleport. And that leads here. Hmm. Well, I'll tell you where our other, where our second location to explore is. Right here. What can I do for you? I'm interested in this. I'm interested in this. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm interested in this. <laughs> Thank you. That feeling when you're interested in this. Joseph's, uh, Joseph's cloak is definitely a flat upgrade, but... Ring of Bales, huh? <laughs> Thank you! Farewell for now! Okay, let's see about that equip then. Yeah, this is just basically an improvement in every way except defense. 
This is an improvement in every way and uh, doesn't take away defense either. So let's do that. Nice. Even more power has been acquired. By the time we get to Dracula, he's gonna be a wuss. Gonna trample him on the floor. Cut to the future when I fight Dracula and get killed over and over again. Ooh. That thing is doing some. That. That. That thing, yes. That thing is doing some serious damage. Ah, nice, another save room. So it seems like there's plenty left to explore in the library, as I suspected. And now that we have the double jump, we can do it all. Flea armor? Right, so flea men with armor, in a sense. That's adorable. Right, it's important to take note that they don't die when you destroy the armor. I like the way the knives bounce off the wall. It's very cool. Just a little detail instead of it just poofing into thin air, you know? That knockback, yikes. They do some serious damage, too. Oh, yeah, that auto heal. Alright, it's decently fast so long as you stay on the move. I will say that. Look at these distinctive chairs, stone mass. This is just a flat upgrade in every way. I just keep pushing. Topaz Circle Attack. Hmm. Lose defense, gain intelligence. I'll stick with defense for now, but... Holy rod! Holy rod almighty. So... What's that do exactly? It's an anointed rod, okay? Is that all we know about it? I mean, it's cool, but... Does it have the same range? Well... I like it anyway, and I like little rooms like this that make you wonder what they were for. And I like the music here. Have I mentioned I like this game? <laughs>
Just saving, just to be safe. <laughs> There we go. Let's head down here. I love the background as well. Lesser demon. was a lot of damage for a lesser. Surely that's not all you got. Where's phase two? <laughs> okay, nice. It might not be everyone's preferred playstyle, but I have to admit there's a certain charm to absolutely wrecking enemies with no effort, thanks to uh, properly leveling and upgrading and such. Those are enemies, aren't they? Mist Fra Frankforter? What? Local favorite. Wow. I didn't expect it to be an actual Frankfurter, but there you go. Right, so we still need something that allows us to turn into mist or something similar. So there's clearly still much to discover. And I'm honestly kind of glad because I don't want this to be over yet. I was really starting to get... Uh, to grow very fond of this game. Was that all this had to offer? I mean, we found cool stuff, but nothing that would progress the story, I think. Except for a Frankfurter, which won't progress the story, so I don't know why I even brought it up then. I guess it's just funny to say. <laughs> Come on now. Right, so we need a thing that turns us into mist, but what is it? We may have to re-explore many of the areas we've explored before. And see what our new mobility options mean for us there. Have there been other save points with two points of entry? I don't recall, but I don't think so. 
Anyway, there is another path up there. Let's see if we can reach that. Knocked its head clean off. Might be intentionally placed just a little bit too high up. If I had to guess, it definitely looks that way. Just out of reach for a normal Alucard. <laughs> hey, if there could have been a secret there, you never know. <laughs> Let's return to the tower here and uh, see what else there is to do. Now that we've explored those major areas, there's plenty more to see after all. Remember, we can just drop down here. Oh, nice. More life max up. Hey, look, a little mouse. That's a cute detail. Ah, right. And we can reach many of those pesky, hard-to-reach places now. Let's re-explore many of the areas we've explored before and see uh, what there is to see. The first one that springs right to mind is the clock area. Tonight in Castlevania, Alucard gets stoned. It's a bit further back then, I think. Now, let's not switch right back to the book for now. 
We want to uh, vary it up a bit. I said that and I'm gonna commit to that, so we're gonna use the knife for a while now. We'll switch again in the future, though. There isn't even chicken on this ledge. I'm very disappointed. Back at the clocks. Like clockwork, you might say. Okay, nice. I don't know what other benefit we stand to gain from this, but... A health upgrade is always welcome. Oh, sorry about that. Did I, uh... I hope this didn't make a loud noise. This is a completely new area, huh? Oh, this music. I know this music. It's often cited as one of the best tracks of the game. Just listen to this. It's rather beautiful, isn't it? I'm gonna- I'm gonna shut up for a moment just to turn up the audio. It's just- it's just one second. isn't it? I love it. Ah, nice. Many good items are required, though I don't know what Alucard wants with the cheese. Maybe he's gonna make a grilled cheese when he's done here. So this one just stops time. Uh, it could be very good, but... Colosseum. Another really catchy tune, huh? Missed good pass. Listen to this jamming beat. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if this works on bosses. Almost seems like a game. This one is really funky, I like it. Ooh, listen to that. Okay, okay. <laughs> Take a shot every time I pay a compliment to the music. I need to stop already. Pretty sure we've approached this from the other side. Yes. 
nice. It's all interconnected. Another piece of the puzzle, as they say. What is this exactly? I don't know what it is. And not much of this area is actually mapped out, so... Gonna have to... Kind of... Oh, well. <laughs> no need for the caution I was about to advise myself. Here's a save point. Okay, let's just jump in at first. Horses can't be stopped. This one is going straight into my uh, my uh, work music playlist. I'll tell you that much right now. Another save point? Seems a bit unnecessary to have one so close to the other, but I ain't complaining. Yeah, you know what? Let's switch it up again. Let's go with this. Oh, actually, actually, let's go with this, whatever that is. I mean, I know what it is, but I know what it does, but another upgrade. <laughs> I was just waiting for it to do something, but... Kind of set there, so I made the first move. I wonder what the story is behind some of these creatures. Because, like, there have been ghosts, like the the uh, the howling little things, and now these uh, women with the swords. I wonder if they're just blind servants to uh, to Dracula, or if there's something more to it than that. Convert damage to hearts, but at the cost of some of my stats, so you know what? It's not gonna happen, but we'll keep it in mind for future strategies. I don't know why it dies in such a dramatic way. Oh, they've slain many creatures here, huh? I should pay more attention to the background. There's lots of storytelling going on here that I am not even noticing. There are many zombies and undead creatures, you know, which is like, okay, they were reanimated. They're dumb, mindless creatures. They've definitely been, like, the, uh, the guy in the library as well.
Oh, I didn't even notice those are half of a horse. That's horrific. And awesome. Explore a bit more over here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I was I got really careless there, and it cost me. Wow. This time we're going to be a bit more careful about that one. <laughs> Been a while since we saved, huh? That's unfortunate. Oh, well, what can I do? Let's take the holy water this time. It might improve my chances, but maybe not. to just run past all the enemies at this point, but... There we go! Holy water is really destructive in the right uh, kind of context. Oh, I can kind of just... Okay, no. I was hoping I could just run by, but that sword is in the way. Actually, right half a horse wouldn't the balance be completely off? Well, I mean, it's it's also a reanimated dead horse, so it's probably pointless to try to think about the logic at this point. It's all magic. This time we're saving up here. I was like, I'm just gonna check this room before saving. Dies instantly. Can't believe we're already on uh, the 17th of October, though. Time is going by way too quickly. Oh, we're the musket guys. Those. Why does those do they damage me so much? I've seen them before, but I had no idea they damaged me so harshly. Shield rod. Oh, I haven't equipped anything on my empty hand, huh? Very cool. I'm guessing the shield rod is designed to work with a shield, but hmm. 
So yeah, what was down here is mostly just good items, but nothing uh, essential. It's interesting that we just kind of ran into the uh, the double jump, even though it's such an essential item. It's funny, not because it's wrong or anything, but because it reminds me of, here I go again, of Hollow Knight, where you also find the double jump, kind of, uh, the wall jump, rather, kind of lying around somewhere. You just pick it up and the game is like, okay, got a wall jump now. Even though it's one of the most important moves in the whole game. Mostly doing this for the heal, not the safe. Let's just check the upper area first for a bit. There are, are things left to explore down here, but I just want to see what's up there uh, right now. Right. There was a reason I stopped here. It was mostly because I couldn't pass there. You see how that guy just dove at me? Absolute madman. I like how even in his body language you can clearly see he's more skilled at fighting than the other skeletons are. It's a pretty good design and animation there. Slightly dark area here. Oh, library card. <laughs> nice. Oh, this is the color. <laughs> Who are you? Open Hell's Gate. Come forth, my servants. The scent of your blood. You're a Belmont. Crush this flea who invades my castle. <laughs> Whoa, what a twist. So he is behind it all. Well, I mean, I didn't think that he was behind it all per se, but he is. I'm certain that was a Belmont. So he says he's the lord of this castle. I wonder what happened to him to, uh... Make him act like this. But hey, the plot thickens. I like it. Welp. That didn't quite go the way I intended. <laughs> Pretty sure that blue crystal is important to the progression of the story, so we'll head back up there to get it. Pretty sure that's not just money, it looks so very essential. Man, 
Man, this is interesting. I've been wondering what was up uh, with uh, Richter, Richter not showing up. And Alucard can smell that he's a... Uh, a Belmont by his blood, that's interesting. I mean, he is a vampire, so yeah. in the same path once more. It's fine. He left. I wonder where he is now. I'm guessing we're now due for a new cutscene. Oh, come on. Not sure if that was just me being stupid or if I actually can't get over there yet or anymore due to the uh, ground opening there. But I feel like. like I had a chance when I first tried to go into that room. It's just kind of weird how that happened back there. Form of mist. Well, I'm glad we could get that, or I would have been very upset. But just a moment, please. I have another thing I want to check here before we go. <laughs> Taking way too many hits. I ought to be more cautious. And now I need to think about all the areas where I uh, where it's said that only mist could pass. Yeah, we really need this now. Alright, very good. So there's more to explore here, right? It's kind of sad how he, how he go how he just looks at his dead and that sad. It's like why, why why couldn't you just go outside and play with your owl instead of attacking me with the owl? You have to admit you put him in harm's way by doing this. Problem, dude. Oh, 
Um, green tea, alright. If you say so. Right, well, now we have another uh, upgrade that allows us to pass through certain places. Uh, and we have passed the two hour mark. I'm kind of addicted to this game at this point, so I want to keep going, but you know, I will need to stop sooner or later. And I don't want it to be over yet, so how about we go back to the tower on the right side of the map. We go to that one place where we could pass through as mist, and then we stop and check the other areas first. This also makes me wonder why Maria is looking for, uh, for uh, Richter. Does she know that he turned bad? Does she suspect him? Or is she on his side, perhaps? Save again. <laughs> Can I say? Hmm. We have thoroughly explored the area for now, at least. But I'm certain we'll find our way back here once we have even more options. Available. Yeah, let's... No, time costs too much, uh, uh, too many hearts. Otherwise I would have kept it, but... We haven't even thoroughly explored this area yet, so... I didn't want to fight you, but if you want to fight me, you're going down, poltergeist. Now Steven Spielberg will have to make a new one. Hammer? Well, that's an app name. Hammer. Blade. Ooh, look at the animation on these guys. It looks a lot like uh, the kind of animation I do, spine animation, where the separate parts are provided with a skeleton and the skeleton is everything. I like how he throws his sword before he goes down. It's very dramatic. isn't quite good enough to get there. Well, I was going to go to the right... Oh! A fast travel point, I guess we can call it that. It's perfect! That's actually exactly what the doctor ordered. Yes, this is where I want to be. Yeah, I'm going to check out that area uh, in the bottom right where we could use the mist form. 
once that's done, we're gonna call it done here and see what happens next stream. Man runs away from Medusa head. There was going to be a punchline to that joke, but I guess I got ahead of myself. Let's head down there, use the mist form, see what's in there, find a nearby save point. Yeah. I never realized how dangerous the guys with guns were until they uh, were in a very horizontal their attacks are horizontal, so in a vertical room like this, you kind of sneak up from a bubble below and kill them instantly, but... When they can get a shot off, it's like 30 damage. 30 damage? Well, my voice is going... Two nights of streaming in a row. I'm completely uh, out of shape in terms of streaming. I've been thinking about what the stream schedule should be, because I want to try doing two per week like we used to. But because uh, Thursday is kind of off limits now, well, you know how it is. I guess I, I'm thinking about doing Monday and Tuesday or Monday and Wednesday like I've been doing. That will probably be it because, uh, <laughs> let's be honest, Monday is kind of a miserable day for everyone. Anyway, this is the area I was talking about. Mirror cube. Let's check what that is. <laughs> Polish to resist stoning. It's useful, I guess. Stats aren't that good, though. So let's go to the silver plate instead. Yeah, the knives are probably a good, good weapon right now. Alright, let's stop at the nearest save point and uh, call it done for now. Right, um, that's about it for this uh, this stream, I think. So, thanks for watching another stream. Uh, Spooktober has been going really well. We finished up Ape Escape, and now we're making serious progress in uh, in Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Uh, I'm still thinking about picking up another spooky game to do in this month. Uh, I'm not sure what yet. Um, I've checked my Steam list, but there's nothing I really feel like. Nothing that I feel would suit the streams, shall we say, so I'll need to uh, look into it. So I'll keep you updated on that. Thank you again for, uh, for watching, and until next time, see you later.